Look what I look what I found. Look what I made in art class. Ah! I fucking love Carl Sagan. Fucking man. The man, Carl. It's the man. <laughs> Alright, yo, welcome, everybody, welcome. Hey! 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 Hey, everybody! Alright, I seriously look like I was retarded right there. Thank you for coming back and checking out another wonderful episode from Nick Glass. This is, a, this is great. I just want to say before I start the video, my hair is messed up, I need to shave, I'm bum mode. Uh, I just woke up a little bit ago, but I had a funny thought. Okay, so wouldn't it be cool if we could like live back in the day? Like if we had a time machine. Now the one thing I wouldn't like about living back in like back in time, I'm talking about like Wild West days. Just start this off with, okay? That would be cool because um, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Bad thing about that is that if you get like a splinter like your in your arm, it's gonna get infected and they're gonna have to chop off your arm. And back then, I don't even understand like the Civil War. They like, chop people's legs off, and then like what they do? Like what? Like they just chopped it off and then what? They just left it there? They sewed it? Like every millimeter? Because there's gotta be open gaps and like blood doesn't keep pouring out. There's veins and arteries in here. Why is it? Why, why don't they just bleed out? I, I it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. The, what do you do? I don't get it. Blows my mind. But anyways. So like Wild West days, like I was just talking, I was hitting up, uh, I was talking my friend on Facebook. Uh, so far, I, I've been like three days without any cigarettes. I'm dying right now, like you know. And I, I almost I had, I had a breakthrough. I was like, I have to get a cigarette. Just come and give me a cigarette. I, I can't take a cigarette. He says that he's broken. He doesn't have cigarettes or any money. And I'm sitting there like, fuck. I don't want to go spend ten dollars on a pack of cigarettes for one, you know. So and I'm sitting there. I'm thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool if you lived in the cowboy days? I'd be like, huh, all right, you don't got any money, huh? I don't either. Let's fucking just go take two horses. We'll ride over to the next town. And we'll rob a fucking bank. We can rob the whole town. You see those movies? There's always like one cop. One sheriff. The one cop. He's always like a fat drunk. He might have like his stupid ass retarded deputy. If I live in the Wild West days, I could take my brother and my sister and go around the United States kidnapping towns. They'd have like wanted posters of us. Like my brothers and my sisters like, Them house and brothers and sisters is back at it again. Only one sheriff, and he's a drunk, and he sits around there with his head on, like this. <laughs> Literally just go around, Bob Banks, that'd be awesome. That'd be super cool. But I feel like back in the 1800s, like, I feel like it never rained. Or it was just always really hot and dry, and, and everybody was just dusty and dirty, and... Ugh. Can you imagine what the, the girl's vagina smelled like back then? <laughs> See, now, that'd be cool, too, because also, what happens when there was those showdowns with the guns? That's awesome! Imagine chilling in your window, you're like, man, this fucking Tuesday is so poor. Whoa, I got to the gun fight, boys! Call up family, go in the window, and be like, oh my god, this is going to be so good. One of these guys are about to die right now. You guys are... <laughs> you know they're walking? Ready to die, bro. Oh, this shit is crazy! These motherfuckers is about to die! They both go... <laughs> I would love to see seen that. The most action that we get of that nowadays is like two fat chicks fighting at a McDonald's at like 2 in the morning on a Friday night because one's skipping the other one's line to get their McChicken. Oh god, you do not steal my McChicken! I think it would be even cooler or even farther back in time to like the medieval times. Alright, besides like if you like sneeze, it'd be like... She's a witch! Burn her! Besides that, the middle of the times would be super cool. Let's do a sword fight! Sword fights! People will argue they wouldn't fight with, you know, pull a fucking sword! That's awesome! People's heads were getting cut off! In the streets! Like it was nothing! It was just normal! Oh, oh there goes, there goes Ted's head, huh? Must have had a rough day, ha 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 ha! Like you'd literally be chilling, uh, sitting there eating your giant chicken leg and a potato probably right and you're wearing just like rags and you and your friends just <sighs> just kick it out and you know just chain good day you need to be in medium times what do you bloody thing that over here to look at Frederick I think him and Sir Lance are all about to take a fight it would be a good one like it's awesome it's awesome like so I heard that, I'd be fucking running out of my house. That would be awesome to see. 
A sword fight! No one sees sword fights anymore! Why don't we see that? We should bring back swords. Could you imagine the news here in Chicago? Thanks, John! This is Ted Danson here reporting in Elmwood Park. The Bloods and the Crips are going at it today in a brutal, brutal sword fight. There's arms, legs, and do rags everywhere scattered amongst the ground. They're really going at it today with the swords. And then you have, like, the notorious, like, badass sword fighters in the ghetto. Yeah, man, I'm gonna fuck with Slicer. That motherfucker knows his way around a sword or two. Shit. Look how happy he is. Just happy about science. <laughs> Like, in those those days, I feel like it was, like, kind of cool. Because if I lived back then, I would be, like, a warlock or something. Like, a wizard. I would just bullshit everybody. I would literally just lie to everybody. I'd be like, I'm getting a message from God. He wants you to give me a full sack of potatoes and three women and have them clean out their smelly vagina. Ugh, can you imagine how the people smell back then? Did they even bathe? Ugh. Ugh. Alright, vanilla wafers, fucking you dip them in milk, huh, the best! Did I mention Carl Sagan was the man?